This is going to be a very quick demonstration of Snow Crush. Uh, we are going to open up our terminal. We are going to execute our script. We will be given a kind of a welcome screen and then we will be dropped into the main menu. We will go through all the options sequentially. So number one is to create multiple QR codes using a word list. We are going to select the SQL injection word list and make sure that those are in the output folder. So this would be used if you were testing, say, a, a postage or a ticketing system or something that interfaces with a SQL database on the back end and is perhaps not sanitizing the input from those QR codes correctly. With that out of the way, we will move to option two, which is create QR codes using string input. And we have a number of, uh, of sub options of uh, different types of QR codes we can create. This is just the manual string input. So we have a phishing URL. We're going to copy and paste that into our terminal and then just make sure that that is in our output folder that it encoded the, uh, the string correctly. So check output. And there we have it. There's our URL in that QR code. Wonderful. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to encode a, um, a Wi-Fi login uh, QR code. So for this, we will need the, the SSID of the network. In this case, that's going to be college student Wi-Fi. We will need a password if there is a uh, password on the network. And we also need to specify what the security standard of that Wi-Fi network is. In this case, WPA, WPA2 is what we're selecting. We are finally going to try out the telephone. So you can use QR codes to either uh, call a telephone number, like a, a premium number or something like that, or you can use it to encode uh, UUSD or MMI codes. So we're going to copy and paste that MMI code in there. We can see that that is in our output folder there through the transparent terminal window. Zero to exit from that sub menu. And we are now going to encode a binary file. So this can be used for .bin, .exe, .elf, any type of uh, uh, binary executable can be encoded in a QR code as well. Option four is for testing QR codes. So we can test a single or multiple uh, QR codes at a time. We're just going to test the one. So we will select that college student Wi-Fi one that we encoded earlier, and we can see that that is the string that is inside the QR code, which is as expected, that is how that looks. So that is correct. And finally, we have some slideshow options. This is for if you are testing on a hardware camera, you would set up a screen or a tablet in front of, a, in front of your camera, select your directory where your uh, images are, Slideshow will start in five seconds and it should be three seconds between each image we selected. So that is about about three seconds between each image. And zero to exit. And that is a wrap. Three minutes.